exponential decay functions. I'm doing this on a break at school, so you might be hearing some bells ringing in a little bit. So uh, anyway, so it's my only chance I can do this. So exponential decay functions are the exact uh, same technique as exponential growth functions. So I'm going to be doing some reviewing. So how's the graph of a times b to the x minus h plus k related to um, uh, the graph of f of x equals b to the x, okay? Now here, b is a fraction or a decimal, okay? So uh, a could be positive or negative. It could be a fraction or a decimal. But, but dk is when this is less than 1, when b is less than 1. Growth is when it's greater than 1. Okay, so here we go. Uh, so let's go ahead and graph this function. Notice here's b. a is out here. It's like an imaginary 1. This is less than 1, so we're going to graph this. We're going to do the reference points uh, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Okay. So let's put negative 1 in the exponent. So when you have a fraction to a negative exponent, you flip the fraction. It becomes a positive exponent, so we get 10. So we go to the left 1, up 10. Okay. And then when we plug in 0, anything to the 0 equals 1, so we get this point, 0, 1. Okay, let's plug in 1 right here. So we get 1 tenth to the 1 power, which is 1 tenth, which is 0. 0.1. This one's going to be 0. 0.01 because it's uh, 1 squared is 1, 10 squared is 100. Uh, 1 one hundredths. Remember decimal place value. This is tenths. This is hundredths. This is 1 one hundredths. So 0 0.01 is close to zero. So our graph is going to look like this. This is what exponential decay functions look like. They go down in this way, in this direction. Okay. All right. So the domain is uh, left and right movement. It goes to the left and right forever. The range is up and down movement. It goes up forever, but it, it goes down to y equals zero. This is an asymptote right here. Okay, it'll asymptotically go towards uh, the, the x-axis right there. So, and then uh, end behavior, as we go to the left, as x goes to negative infinity, the graph goes up to positive infinity. As if we go to the right, so when x goes to positive infinity, this graph is going to y equals zero, okay? All right, so exponential growth functions from yesterday look like this, you guys, okay? Or this, okay? So it just depends on if A is positive or A is negative. So when it's positive, it shoots up like a J curve, looks like a J. And when A is negative, it shoots down. So it's a reflection over these this axis. Sorry, you guys. So, so um, when it's negative, it just reflects it down. Notice B is greater than 1. Okay, when B is greater than 1, here it is 4. Here B over here is 3. When it's greater than 1, it's an exponential growth function. When it's less than 1, it's a decay function. Like this one, this is 0.4. So it decays, it goes down and down and down. So imagine flipping this over. When this is negative, it'll look like this, okay? Here's a different one. So that's less than 1, and it's a negative. So this is uh, uh, reflected across the x-axis right there, okay? So uh, all have the form of a times b to the x, okay? Growth functions are when the b is greater than 1. Decay function is when the b is less than 1, greater than 0, but less than 1. Okay, and uh, if a is positive, it's above the x-axis. If it's negative, it's below the, the x-axis, okay? And we use the same trick to graph f of x equals a uh, times b to the x is in the last lesson. And so that trick is on, on any of these exponential graphs, do a t-chart. Test x equals 0, x equals 1, and then graph those points, and that gives you the direction it's going, okay? So it's the same formulas, okay? Then to graph, uh, when we insert the h and k, we move the origin uh, to hk, and it's always opposite this number. So if this was a minus 2, we'd go to the right, okay? If it was a plus 2, we'd go to the left. Okay, and so um, if that was like a plus 5, we'd go up. If it was a minus 5, we'd go down. So opposite, same, okay? And then you can get rid of the h and k. Once you move the origin, then drop off this h and k and just graph y equals a times b to the x. Okay, and just do test 0 and 1 and just pretend like that this is the origin and then you're, you're good. Okay, so let's graph the function, describe the domain and range and end behavior. Okay, so this is a dk function because that's less than 1 right there and it's going to be above the x-axis because that's 3. Let's first move the origin to the right 2, down 2. Okay, so I'll do that in green. There it is right there. Now I'm just going to graph 
everything without the H and K. So the 3 times 1 half to the X and test in 0 and 1 to this. Okay, so if we put in 0 right here, 1 half to the 0 is 1, so 3 times 1 is 3. So here's the origin, 0, and then go up 3. Now I know that's not really 0, 3, it's actually 2, comma 1. But if this was the origin, we'd just graph this. Now let's graph, uh, let's put in 1. So we'll put a 1 right there, so 3 times 1 half is 3 halves, which is 1.5. So if this is the origin, go over 1, go up 1 and a half right there. All right, now let's put the, let's get back into the real picture here, and let's label these points. This is going to be at 2, comma 1. This is going to be at 3, comma, negative a half, or negative 0.5, okay? And then there's our, our exponential graph, okay? So the domain is all left and right movement, so it goes to the left forever and to the right forever. And then um, uh, it's above this horizontal line, y equals negative 2, so it's y is greater than negative 2. Okay, and then the end behavior, as we go to the left forever, it goes up. So as x goes to negative infinity, y goes to infinity. And as we go to the right, this graph goes asymptotically to the line y equals negative 2. So as x goes to uh, infinity, y is approaching negative 2. Okay, all right, let's try this guy. Okay, so um, let's move it to uh, HK. So to the left, 2, up, 8. Okay, and this will be our origin for the next uh, little bit right here. And I had a student say, hey, Mr. Bullock, this is not 3 right there. Well, that's actually 8. So before I moved it, when I put in that asymptote right there, it kind of cut that 8 out and made it look like a 3. All right, so that's our one-minute bell. And you'll hear the kids start pouring in. Not in my class, because I have a prep period. Okay, now let's graph um, uh, just this without the H and K, and we'll just test 0 and 1. So let's put in 0 right here. Anything to the 0 is 1, but it's negative 1. So we're going to go ahead and go 0, negative 1. Remember, this is our, our pretend origin for a little bit. Okay, let's plug in 1. So we get uh, 1 tenth to the 1 power, which is 0 0.1, but it's negative 0 0.1. So if we go over 1, it goes down uh, 1. Now what I did is I tried negative 1. I inserted negative 1 just to get another reference point. So let's go over here, see what happens. So when I plug in negative 1, remember when we have a fraction to a negative power, we flip that fraction and it becomes a positive power. Okay, so 1 tenth to the negative 1 is 10 over 1 to the positive 1, which is 10, but it's negative 10. So when I go to the left 1, it drops 10. So there it is right there. All right, now let's label these guys. So this is at, uh, let's go back into the real world now. So this is at, um, I'm sorry, we're right here, negative 3, negative 1, negative 2. Okay, this is at negative 2, 7. Okay, now remember, this was down a tenth. A down a tenth from y equals 8 takes me to 7.9. So this is at negative 1, 7.9. Can you see this graph asymptotically going towards this guy right there? There it is, right there. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do our domain range and end behavior. Your domain is left and right movement. It goes to the left and right forever. My range is it goes down forever, but it go it goes up to here. So it's uh, y is less than uh, eight up there. Okay, and this is in set notation. This says the set of x such that x is between negative infinity and positive infinity. This says the set of y such that y is less than eight. Okay, end behavior. When we go to the left, the graph is shooting down. When we go to the right, the graph is going up to 8. Okay, so there's our end behavior right there. All right. Uh, okay, so there's your assignment if you guys are in my class. I hope that makes sense. Take care.